Now, you might be familiar with <laughs> our friends here and the little tales we're about to tell. Incy Wincy Spider, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and Row 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 Your Boat are all classic nursery rhymes. But if you're a parent or a grandparent, those sing-song lyrics might just make you want to run <laughs> screaming for these beautiful green hills. And you're not alone if that's the case. New research that we've got this morning shows that many parents and grandparents think it's time for a complete rewrite when it comes to nursery rhymes and music generally for the under fives. And our media and arts correspondent, David Silito, has been looking at what might be the future, the world of toddler techno. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus, a toddler classic, but now a new version. Basically, I remix nursery rhymes and I turn them into modern sounding main stage club anthems. Welcome to Techno for Toddlers. Lenny Pierce, just one of a number of artists trying to widen the preschool musical diet. So my daughter is one and a half years old, and then when I'm at home with her, I'm making music in the next room, I can just hear the same songs on repeat. And because I'm a music producer, I was like, oh, maybe I should try and um, remix this into something more modern for my TikTok. And then I did that, and then it just resonated with a lot of parents. It's got about almost two million streams in just three weeks. She's um, really, really crazy. Hey, Anna, hey, Anna, and he's not alone. Ollie Halverson writes bespoke songs for the under fives in their preferred musical style, because tastes here are pretty varied. So your, your favorite music is? Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson. And your favorite again is? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia? Abba. What type of music do you like? Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Yeah, Johnny you do Cash. listen to that, don't you? So Johnny it's a lot Cash. Yeah. Jordan's got a cheeky smile. Mama and some new research has shown they're not unusual. The under fives are often just underestimated and kind of written off. And actually what we've seen here is that they, you know, they, they're like the rest of us. They like listening to a diversity of music and the music that's been produced for them should reflect that. Nursery rhymes. Is the traditional music serving families well? Well, half of the families that we spoke to said that they thought nursery rhyme lyrics needed to be updated. Yes, nursery rhymes. Attempts to reform and rewrite them date back to the Victorian era, but without much success. But nevertheless, parents today aren't so keen. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I think, one of them um, that we're kind of over. Better is a ray of sun, girls like the spring, what joy you bring. And then there are those who have to sing this stuff. Angeline and Ollie have a pet hate. Your uh, least favourite. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. You've got a world-weary look on your face. <laughs> so it seems Lenny's onto something. Indeed, he's had an effect on his brother, who happens to be a wiggle. Wheels on the bus go round and round. For those who don't know, the Wiggles are Australia's global superstars of the preschool hit parade. And Lenny has just produced their first rave album. Toddler techno is taking off, but as any parent knows, we'll wait and see what Britain's three-year-olds actually demand. David Saletto, BBC News. And if you didn't know who the Wiggles are, you do now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just delightful. You'll definitely know who this is. CBB's <laughs> presenter Chris Jarvis is here. Good morning. Good morning. Nursery Hello. rhymes may be dying out as we've known them. I don't think so. No? I'm sorry. No, I think that I, I don't think you'll ever get rid of them. And I like Greenfly. I think they'll just be passed <laughs> down forever. And they're a real quick go-to for parents. You know, especially if you're trying to placate a child, trying to get them off to sleep. You'll be grateful of that twinkle, twinkle little star. And what is it about those traditional tunes that works for children? I 
think because they're so simple, they're easy to sing, they're programmed in us. I mean, they're the few songs that we all know off by heart. And the other great thing about them is they come with actions. You can join the wheels yes, on the bus, John's wiggly woo. John's had some of the actions this morning. Well, no, I've I... tried to remember some of the actions. Incy Wincy Spider. Incy Wincy, don't you do that? Or yeah. yeah, I think if you put your thumb on your we little finger, like Incy Wincy like Spider, <laughs> that's it. That's Turned right, up the water that's spout, right. out. I could down came, came the rain, rain. and washed the spider out. out. I can't do it now. There we go. <laughs> Out <laughs> came the sun, tried up all the... See, I'm pro I can't stop now. I'm on a roll. It is your job, though, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, you have sung, you've performed, recorded, updated versions of nursery rhymes. But, I mean, yeah. what about, a, you know, a grime version of Incy Wincy or something like that? Is that acceptable? Well, I agree <laughs> uh, with the doctor. I think that, you know, children will go with anything. You know, if, if they like it, they'll stick with it. If they don't, they'll walk away. They really will. They're, they're a brilliant audience, actually, because they tell you what they think. They're very honest. And, um, yes, yeah, give it a go. But I found with my music um, to stick to it being quite straightforward, really, so they can join in and sing along. If it's too fast, they can't sing. You need the actions. Oh, yeah. And also, I'm thinking back to a few years ago when, I hesitate to say this, but Baby Shark, <gasps> yes, yeah. was everywhere. So, yeah. I mean, modern versions of really simple kids' tunes mm. have been, you know, in our ears for years, haven't they? Absolutely. And big thanks to Sesame Street yes. and also to Derek Griffiths and yes. Jonathan Cohen on Play School years and years ago. They were all, all having fun with these songs and updating them over the, over, over the years. And the children's music we put on CBeebies today, like on, on the Christmas shows now, and we cover disco. We had um, a rock queen in, in the Snow Queen, which was fantastic last year. Take the Arrow, an arch reaction song, which was really, really good. And that's just in the Christmas show. But but things like Mr. Tumble's nursery rhymes on CBB's YouTube channel, I think it gets something like nearly 70 million views. I mean, it's incredible. But they love it, and it's a go-to. I don't think you'll ever stop people singing nursery rhymes. And we're doing a big sing-along, actually, in pool at Lighthouse. Um, it's free to, to come along, 1.30 on Saturday, the 8th of June, and it's a big nursery rhyme and children's song sing-along, and we'll be doing all the actions. And do you know what? If they don't like it, they'll probably leave. But I don't <laughs> think they will, because I've been doing this a long time. 31 years, my dear. And, um, you know, I've toured a nursery rhyme children's song show as well, and they love They all join in You've with Wiggly Woo. You've been on tour with nursery Oh, rhyme. yes. Well, Show Me, Show Me, which is still on CBeebies iPlayer. You know, it's all about nursery rhymes. We dress up as these characters and, um, you know, for a lot of people, it's torture. But um, for children, they love it and they, and they relate to it and um, it makes them laugh because it's really silly, like pantomimes. And they're very honest in their reactions, of course, aren't they? What sort of reactions have you had maybe on tour to various nursery rhymes? <laughs> oh, well, like I'm just you trying say, to think of any that I can repeat. That they just leave. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's funny when they get the words wrong and it oh, yeah. goes off in a different direction. <laughs> but, um, no, I mean, it, what, what's great is it, they instantly join in. They know what to do, incy, wincy, spider, or whatever, the wheels on the bus. And, and I think that people should have fun with them, change the words. And if any of them are offensive, do you know there are hundreds? Choose the one that are not. And, and it's funny how things come back. So wind the bobbin up, wind, wind the parents up, what you call it. But wind the bobbin up seems to wind have come back. That's a up. very old song. Yes. But suddenly it's popular again. And then you get new ones like um, uh, Baby Shark. Yeah. Uh, uh, all, yeah, the, all the hits. No. Da, da, but da, da, um, I think it's great news that people are coming up with new ones. And uh, lots they'll, they'll of people have been in touch this morning. Pete. In Nottingham says, not everyone likes rap music. I think the classics are better for young people. Yes, yeah. Tony says, nursery rhymes are so important for learning language and an opportunity for actions and signing too. Yes. And somebody, a grandma here says, I started singing Wheels on the Bus to my grandson when he was two weeks old. As a result, my nickname is now Grandma Wheels. She'll be forever <laughs> known as Grandma. And that's the thing, it stays, it becomes part yeah. of the family identity, doesn't it, the yeah. nursery rhyme? Thank goodness it was that one, not um, <laughs> Grandma Wiggly Woo or something like that. <laughs> oh, Grandma Incy Wincy. <laughs> yeah. Chris, lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, thanks Ambassador for, for Nursery Rhymes. Thank you. Thank you. Good stuff.